they, I think people inherently want to relate to one another. And so that's been like a founding factor in this whole thing. I saw this story parallel over and over and over again. Uh, the Brazilian population came over here, or like the Puerto Ricans came over to uh, create railroads. And then they brought some other people over to continue to work. And then they got property. And then they established businesses and restaurants. Someone comes over for a reason. And then they establish a community. That story just keeps revolving over and over again. And it's the common thread through all of us. I want it to be a conversation, you know, and that there are so many different places that people can be from. And I want them to be curious about one another. That would create a more connected community. When we encounter other people, we can explore how much is inside that one encounter. When you talk to someone, feel free and feel open to not only say hello, but ask, what's your journey here? And share your own. So I really want this to be a conversation starter. Um, and that's really what stories of immigration and migration um, culminate in. About one of, in every three people who are in Framingham are born outside the United States. What an incredible multilingual, multicultural community to be in. So Framingham's collective journeys in, in many ways, um, the whole heart and soul of it are stories. And the way that people share stories. So a lot of times when we think about history, it's very much um, uh, sort of event focused, numbers, dates, locations. When we looked at history, it's not just facts and figures, it's senses. It's the smell, it's the taste, it's the sounds. Make it immersive, make it multi-sensory. I was shopping around for spices for the smell vision mm -hmm. section. And you know, first it's like, you think obvious, like basil, and then you got your oregano and you got your thyme. But actually for me, it's like, you know, Goya Saison, and that like threw me back to a kid in the kitchen. Uh, every time I had somebody smell that, they're like, oh, that's Saison, and how people react to it. You can see them like light up. So the kitchen's super huge for me. There's a book, actually a recipe book from my mom that is of Trinidadian cuisine. You know, I'm so inspired by my parents and my family. I got a chance to honor them. Like, you know, as a Caribbean, the colors, <laughs> super bright. And I wanted to, you know, you see the, I started off actually, interestingly enough, I was like, okay, I gotta pull a color out of here. So there's like a beige and a brown. And I was like, okay, we'll start with brown and then we'll start using complementary colors outside of that. So I'm looking at flags, I'm looking at dresses, I'm looking at all these pictures from my family. And I'm like, okay, the blues, the reds, the yellows, you know? Well, I think one of the most exciting things that I hear when people walk in is to say, wow, this feels alive. And that's exactly what I think Patrick and I were hoping for, that it felt alive, that it felt dynamic, and it's highly interactive. It's a living exhibition, which means when you walk through the doors, not only um, can you learn more about other people's experiences, but you can add your own experience to the walls of the museum. Um, so in almost every section, there's an opportunity for you to write down your thoughts, your ideas, your family's experiences, and actually pin them or magnetize them to the walls of the museum themselves. But this is crafted with hundreds of people's fingerprints on this exhibit. It's not just one person or two people. It's really a community exhibit. The more hands that touch something, I think the more power it has. So when people came in and volunteered to help us put this up, right, they're solid, beautiful walls. Um, we had aspects of people painting the mural pieces, so like some of the detail work. It is a community thing. So when you come in, when you invite your friends and family to come to this thing, you can say, that's my wall. I'm part of the city, but I'm also part of this exhibit. It's pride, it's hope, it's curiosity. It's a, it's a sense of meaning and awe, I would say as well. This is sort of what feels like history can do in a community, which is sort of help us explore what does it mean to belong? What does it mean um, for our history to shape who we are and also where we're going? Mm -hmm.